Local nurses in. Travel is out. Travel is out. Local nurses in. 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 Quality in. Quality in. Travel is out. Quality in. What do you say? Seth Magazina, what do you say? Seth what do you say? The guy in the hat, what do you say? <laughs> reminded me that we only gave him $75 when he was picketing and it was 15 degrees out, right? Yeah. <laughs> he, wants, he wants a raise the next strike better. <laughs> so, we have, we have a bunch of folks that came out today to support us. Uh, Clay Powell, who's the candidate for governor, was here. Uh, Seth Magaziner, who's the candidate for general treasurer, is here. <laughs> we have a lot of different friends from the labor movement that came out. I think the postal workers are over here, right? Yeah. Yeah. We have NEA here. Yeah. Ask, ask me here. American Federation of County Municipal Employees. Yeah. Hey, AMT is here. Yeah. Yeah. The old Dave Bell is your candidate for Secretary of State. Yeah. The best dressed man in the labor movement, Jimmy Riley, is here from the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. Former General Treasurer Frank Caprio running again is right here. Yeah. Our old David Bennett from Butler RN District 20, former State yeah. Rally. Yeah. And obviously all of you, so wonderful job today. About 700 people signed in by the beginning of the rally today at 3.30, so that's a great turnout. We have one message for the hospital today, which is we've built this institution up over the last 30 years to be the absolutely amazing facility that it is, and we're not going to let a bunch of carpetbaggers wreck it in two and a half years. We have so many people. Not only employees here, but people that have gone to Rick and CCRI and Salve and other places. URI. URI. And they want a job. Yeah. Yeah. They want to work. Yeah. Everybody's caught up and we need a nursing school. Well, we need nurses. And we need Rhode Island nurses employed by Rhode Island facilities, right? Yeah. So what sense does it make to, to deny somebody who's put a whole year, four years into becoming a nurse and then, then tell them we don't have a job for you. They're 30, 40,000, 50,000 in debt. They went to URI and we can't hire them? Yeah. Crazy. Right. Right. Absolutely crazy. Totally crazy. Yeah. Because we're top heavy. Yeah. The art, the art. Top heavy. Respiratory is right on it. They, they I just, I just wanted to thank all the supporters here. Just let me take a look at this. Uh, one of our sister locals, 32BJ615, is here with Jessica. Woo! A few people from Rhode Island Hospital, UNAP, came over earlier, so thank them. I think I said the letter carriers and the postal workers. Woo! The soccer teachers are here.
And also, uh, George D. is the president of the AFL CIO. Is here. All right. Yeah. I'm going to give him the mic for a second. Thank you very much, Brother Quinn. What's wrong with this picture? First of all, what are we doing here at Women and Infants when it's nice out? The only time I've ever been here is when it's cold and rainy and snowy. So I don't know what Stan did, but he's got a lot of juice because we finally have a nice day for those of us who have walked the strike lines and the picket lines here for years. The other thing wrong with this picture is that sign up there. 130 years of local nurses and employees have yeah. made this a tremendously worldwide famous hospital. So what are they doing? Are they saying that the people who are trained to be nurses in Rhode Island aren't quality nurses anymore? They're not just the best nurses in the country, they're the best nurses in the world, and that's why this place has a great reputation. So our General Assembly just recognize the importance of the health care system and in particular the nurses by putting in money to take an old station, an old South Street station and make it into a premier nursing school with URI and Rick. And so what does this hospital do? They say, oh, let's not pay attention to that. Let's bring in nurses from outside of the state to work here. That's wrong and that has to change today. because of the nurses and the other employees. And that has to be recognized. So let the voices of us be heard today. Let them change their mind. And there's a sign right there that says it all. Hire local nurses. So I think Stan might have invented the microphone because I haven't met one that he didn't like. So <laughs> Well, uh, this is this is quite a day for me uh, because as old as I am, you haven't forgotten me yet. So that's yeah. it. And I know I've been talking to a lot of a lot of our members here, and we're very frustrated about what's going on. But let's keep that eye on the prize. Let's continue to understand the main thing we need to worry about is us. Yeah. Not them, us. Yeah. We need to worry about where we're at because our unity together is priceless. It's priceless. Yeah. And the only way they defeat us in the long run is to split us apart. Exactly. And don't ever let them split us no. apart. No. We stood out on this street at least three times to teach them a lesson. And if we got to be out here when this contract expires, I'm going to be here with the rest of you. And I hope it's at least five degrees below zero. And yet it rains at night. We're going to get the lobster costumes out. And we're going to have a ball. Yeah, right. And they're going to know, the new ones, by the way, yeah. the problem is the new guy is from Boston. Yeah. Yeah, right. And they don't do the things in Boston that we do here, here on, more, you know, right. on Dudley Street. They don't do that. He's not used to getting his ass kicked. <laughs> but if need be, remember, this contract will end. Yeah. And until it ends, we need to fight like cats and dogs to keep what is ours, ours, to fight over it every single day, to stand up for each other, to remember what our unity is about, and to remember to love our, mem our member right next to us until the end. That's what this has got to be about. Because otherwise, they're going to drive you, him, me, and everybody else crazy unless we get back to what I said a few minutes ago. Worry about us, not them. Yeah. I love you all and I'm happy to see you. And I'll be here anytime you ever need.
Quality in! Travelers out! Quality in! I want to give a shout out to a couple other folks that, that joined us in the meantime. Unite Here 217 is here over there in the red and the hat. Woo! Rhode Island Job for Justice is here. Woo! Thank you. I think I got most of you, everybody. Obviously, you all, all of you are here, so that's the most important thing. Show the boss that we're ready to fight over this issue as long as we have to. So I just wanted to give the mic to Dana for a second. There's some folks from uh, Rhode Island Hospital 251 walking up. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. We need to thank you for your support. So I just wanted to, to, you all to hear from one of the nurses. Make sure that people understand what this is about. We we want we want them to hire. We want them to hire our nurses so we can build and develop our nursing staff. So Dana's going to speak to that. Hi everybody, my name is Dana and I work in the NICU. I've been here for 17 years. Um, I want to say, um, I don't know, just a couple things I guess. One is that um, this was a wonderful place to work when I started here. And over the last three or four years, I have never seen morale so low. It's awful. You're right, you're right. Yes. And, and you know, I hear from our nurse managers how it's our fault that, you know, morale is low. It's not our fault. We're working our asses off in there because they can't hire staff that can do a job that we do every day. It's a little frustrating. Yeah. So we're here to tell them, and I've sat in Angeline's office and I've gone to Angeline with another delegate and I have proposed solutions for her to fix this problem. I've emailed her. She has not emailed me. Never emailed me back. I've gone down to Matthew Quinn's office. I can't tell you how many times with assignments that were unsafe with poor staffing, and I just get the runaround. So I've been trying to fight for everybody. I know this is not just in the NICU, it's everywhere. But if we don't stand together and do something about this, they're gonna run us right over. And they will do it. to stick together. There's power in numbers and there's plenty of us, plenty of us to show them. I'm sorry, but it has to stop. I can't work this way anymore and I don't know about you all either. We're so good. Good. We want to hear from one of our other nurses, Kristen, so go ahead, Kristen. Hey everybody, um, I'm sure some I'm sure some of you already know me. <laughs> I was squeezing. I know we know you. Uh, yeah, so some of you know me. I have been here now for six years. I have been a temp for the hospital for the last three of those years. Every three months, my job is back up for bid, and my life is flipped upside down once again. This is just one of the many things that Angeline has in, stuffed in her stiletto, is switching everybody's <laughs> life all the time. It's just not going to work. I can't get a real job along with plenty of other people because instead we're bringing in travelers from Texas who don't know what the hell they're doing. They care about themselves. Yeah. Kristen has a hard time expressing herself. Yeah. <laughs> you can bear with her. So uh, there's a couple other folks that showed up. I want to give them a shout out. Ma Maureen Martin, who's the Secretary Treasurer of the AFL-CIO. Yeah. I think re uh, Representative Frank Chatter is here, who's uh, running for Lieutenant Governor. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron, Aaron from uh, District 4. Aaron's running in, uh, for state rep. Aaron Rodenberg for District 4 and yeah. yeah. And also um, from Central Falls, Councilwoman Shelby Maldonado is here. So yeah. 
think I think that's it for our supporters. But a wonderful turnout from a lot of different people, a lot of different organizations. Thank you so much. That really just goes to testimony that this hospital is really a Rhode Island treasure, and we shouldn't let people who don't know what they're doing trash it. There you go. Yeah. The hospital is not is not the building. Obviously, the building and the equipment is important, but it's all the skills, it's all the know-how, it's all the expertise that you bring every day to produce a quality outcome for the patients. That's what the hospital really is. Yeah. Thank you very much.